Hello everyone, it's Milbox, and I'm here with a quick tutorial on how to get really rich in Fallout 4 quite quickly and legitly. So, this is a lot like the bottle cap one, except that you actually gain money legitly, and you will keep that money when they patch out the bottle cap one, maybe. So this really revolves around settlements, and the two places you want to use are the King Sport Lighthouse and the Slog. As you can see on the map here, this is where they are. Now you do need to do their quest to unlock them, they're fairly easy. I um, don't know if it's level dependent. But please bear in mind that this is probably geared towards higher leveled players, because you do need a good few resources in order to make this work. You could probably, theoretically, make this work with very little resources, but the outcome, the payoff, would be just nothing. So let's go, for example, to the lighthouse, and I'll show you how I gain a lot of money. So this all revolves around um, purified water. Um, it sells quite cheaply, but you see, if you have any excess materials after a settlement has claimed their food and water, it goes into your workshop. And you can easily take this out and then sell it, because they're not going to need it. That's why it's there. It's excess stuff. So as you can see, there's a lot of turrets. And you have a lot of turrets because your water and food, um, the defense needs to be ever equal or greater than that. So this is my water purifying machines. Now, these do cost a lot to build. They're the last one, the industrial one, I think the name is. They do qu cost a few things to build, and there are a few traders. There is Good Neighbor, and there is some in Diamond City, who you can just buy shipments off. Yes, it's expensive to start with, but you will get all this money back easily. Also, don't forget to put down a radio beacon to call in some more settlers. So, as you can see from... The setup I got you, I've got 400 water, which just gives me a stupid amount of purified water afterwards. And, and um, another area I go to, like I said, is the slog, where I've more or less got the same setup, but to a lesser degree. So once again, just like the lighthouse, there's just a ton of turrets to compensate for all of the water being used. As you can see, I've just filled this little pool with the same machines, and it's just getting as much as possible. And um, as you can see from the stats here, still quite high. So, there are a few perks attached to this. You don't require them. No no perk is required for this, except that this is made much easier by having the perks. You want Cap Collector, level 3, because this lets you invest 500 caps into a store. And this one is uh, the Strongback. Um, you just want to upgrade that to level 3 at least. Level 4 is necessary, but it may help if you just want to go around picking up things. But level 3 is what you need, just to run around so you can sell things that little bit quicker. Without these two, it's really a grind, and it takes forever to sell things. So I stored everything in this little box here. This is where all the purified water goes, and also there's three articles of clothing. This clothing just ups my charisma, um, and charisma just helps me sell better. Um, um, you may want... Or as many perks as you can from the books, the ones that up your charisma or make selling prices better, but it's not really necessary, but everything to do with charisma just helps. So you'll just take this and you'll go and sell it. And as you can see, that sells for quite a bit of money, that's just stupid. So just lower it to as, mu as much as they have to barter with and then go to the next guy. So once you've sold all of your stuff, so go and sit down somewhere, you don't have to be here, and let 48 hours pass. So once 48 hours have passed, everybody's got all their caps back, so you can sell again.